So first reason why you will not be feeling as confident as you hope to be will be because you're focusing on things that you can't control. Like I mentioned about this equation of high anxiety and and low confidence, the feeling of anxiety we get is when we're trying to control something that we can't control but wanting to control it. So whether it's a performance that you've done, something that's been and gone, whether it's something you did in the past, maybe a fear of something happening in the future, it could be an opinion of someone, a coach that said something about you. Ultimately, what has happened has happened. And you trying to control it is only going to turn you over in this cycle of non-acceptance and you're just going to suffer. So the simple equation that I get any client or any one that I'm talking about this subject about, about trying to control something you can't control, is ask yourself in the moment, what is it that I'm thinking about? What is it that's causing me this stress, this anxiety? And ultimately, can I control it? If the answer is yes, great, take action and work towards that. And that's how I work with people on being able to take the action that they need to reduce that anxiety. But if the answer is no, I cannot control it, then we're going to have to accept it. We're going to have to start to flex that acceptance muscle, which is going to bring about our ability to move on from it and go towards what we can control. Now, in the MindStrong course, we have the controllables versus uncontrollables exercise. And this is probably one of the most powerful exercises in the course because it allows people to have the awareness of everything in their life that they possibly can control and they possibly can't control. And just by simply writing that down, you're able to recognize what it is. And especially when you start to think of it, if it drops into your mind at any moment, something that you can't control, you can almost see it on that list within your mind. And then you know you've got the list of everything that you can control, which reduces your anxiety and increases your confidence. Because once we're in control of something, we feel in control, we're going to feel confident. Think about simply driving a car. When you are fully in control of that car, you feel confident. But in the moment when you aren't in control of it, you don't feel confident. So think of yourself, your mind, your environment, everything around you. If there's something that you're trying to control but you can't control it, there's a chance it's going to cause anxiety and a low confidence and a low self-belief. So it's very simple but it's not easy to do and it is to be aware of everything that is in your control and not in your control. And like I said on the MindStrong course, that exercise is probably one of the most powerful ones for people that have gone through it because it's just about bringing awareness to it. It's just about recognizing what is it that I'm trying to control but can't control. Hey, if you've enjoyed that video, then you can click right here to watch the full unedited version of that episode. Also, don't forget to subscribe to this channel by clicking the button below. I'll see you soon.